I'm just curious what you guys think about this whole festival. We were coming here to see no effects. I've seen the dead Kennedys. I just wanted Which to see no effects. Which version, the real one or the other one? The one, one in 1985, May 1st. That would be Newport, the real one. Kentucky. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, so what do you think about No Effects not being here? Keith, you want to go? Come on, bring it. Jack, you've got an opinion on this, too, I'm sure. I've got an opinion. Get back on stage, Oprah. No, I'm asking questions. <laughs> All right, well, I want to hear what you think, too, but let's start with Keith. I, I, I think that was an attack against my sexuality, and I'm actually going to, I feel offended on that, Jella. All right, come on, Keith, what do you got for that? I am actually upset that No Effects is not here. Yeah. Granted, granted that Mike made a comment that was in really bad taste. Hold on now, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I, 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 I'm not going to argue with you. He said something that bummed a few people out. Personally, I was not bummed out. I, I've got a, I got, I, being 63 years old, I've heard a lot of stuff. I've seen a lot of stuff. My skin is a little bit tougher than just some of these pussies that are running around. These uh, politically correct, uh, whatever you want to call them. Like, get fucking real. We live in a real fucking world. And, right. and the, the thing is, is that the, the guy that killed all of those people, it could have just as easily been punk rock bowling. It could have just as easily been a, a Kanye West concert. It could have just as easily been uh, Katy Perry. He scouted it just, at least two it other just festivals. just happened to be a country western, something that I wouldn't attend, but... <laughs> I, I mean... I d in, in some cases, I think some people are getting overly hypersensitive, and part of the reason, there's two reasons they are. Number one, they're tired of having the verbal shit kicked out of them by bigots, and they're just sick of it, number one. And I get that, and, and would like people to be a little more humane to each other. And the other thing is, every new generation of people uh, finds different kinds of ways, when they decide they want to get radical, they look for ways to do it that other people haven't before. And that's where you're getting some of this stuff about, we want no more microaggressions, and we have to know if anything taught in this college class might actually traumatize me and stuff. And enough of that, you can't teach anybody anything anymore. This is true. And nobody has pulled more of that shit over the years than fundamentalist Christians who say it's religious discrimination if we don't let them force their religion on everybody else. Sorry, Hobby Lobby, you're better off on fire, thank you very much. What an easy chain to boycott. There was nothing there for me to buy. <laughs> Why would I ever want to go there? But back, back, to, back to no effects. It wasn't just Mike who said it. I think it started with Melvin and kind of made the rounds. And um, in, uh, on the surface, it's kind of like, yeah, sick humor. That is part of punk rock. And that's almost something like something I would say. Yeah! But... I wouldn't have quite said that in that circumstance because I would have been a little more aware, you know, in part because I am a fan of some country music myself, and I'm amazed that blown away how many country music fans and even country music musicians are into my shit, too. And what that means is, if I said, oh, too bad it wasn't country music fans who got murdered by some psycho, well, how could I look Reverend Horton Heat in the eye again after that? How could I look Junior Brown, or Hank Three, or Steve Earle, or Jesse Dayton, or the Super Suckers in the eye again after that? I mean, I think a little more like that now, and so, uh, something, there's uh, many other comments that have gotten me in trouble over the years, especially with 
girlfriends and stuff at times, but, uh, but, um, or parents, but, uh, you know, I, I do think, Mike, hang on, I do think Mike and company could have diffused this a lot quicker if they had apologized the next day instead of spending two or three days being defensive about it before they realized that it's one of those times, and I've had to learn this lesson really hard myself, and I don't like it, but it's a lesson that we all go through is, there are times when it's better to apologize even when you know you're totally fucking right. Just so we can all still be friends, stay on the same page, and move on. I think it's highly possible that if no effects, had apologized the next day or even that night because the drummer was really knew what had happened immediately and was staying on his little mic trying to get him to shut up. They, you know, they could have huddled before the encore. Okay, we better defuse this. Go out, apologize, and they would probably still be here. Yeah, but it's not honest. It's not on it. I got a problem. I'll say that I got a real fucking problem with it. I think it's fucking ridiculous. And I, I don't understand what how is, what is ridiculous. What I, is I think ridiculous? it's ridiculous that they can't make a fucking joke and just say whatever they're fucking saying and people just don't let it go. It's like, it, it, anyway, what I, all right, let's move on because this isn't a pleasant topic to discuss. I mean, the other part, we have, to, we have to finish the other part. The other part that, that caused this is from the promoter of this festival to the beer company and everything else, they were worried about getting boycotted by all kinds of other people, and so it was a market-based decision. I'm not. I'm bummed too. I mean, I Mike asked me to be here. We were going to hang out, and he was going to be on this stage right now. We were going to talk about punk voter and stuff. But so um, no. But this is uh, you know, it's a tightrope we all walk. I mean, I'm not sure I could get booked as a spoken word artist on college campuses anymore because somebody either on the uh, somebody either who's down with the so-called alt right or people who don't like my sick humor would want me to submit every single thing I'm going to say in advance, like the University of Texas, the conservatives did once, and I said, "You're trying to censor me. I don't even write everything down. You." Yes, for that I cancel, and they let me do it. You know, they right, cancel let's, me. Let's go on. Let's grab another. Does anybody have a nice question they want to ask? What? All right, here we go.